Hey guys, so we're doing another Q&A. We haven't done a Q&A since I first started this channel. <laughs> Always has to interrupt. Always. There's not a time where he doesn't. No. Alright, so first question is, what do you see in a friend? So I'll start with that. Um, I see just about two things in a friend. I see loyalty, number one. And two, it's the same interest as you. Do you want to add, add, any, add anything to that? No, same goals and ambitions, yep. So you basically just have the same mindset and both working for the same thing, right? Yeah. All right, so second one. What do you see in a girl? Um, bae, like a bae chick? Or yeah, just like, bae. Okay. Um, you see like, what do you see in a girl? It's usually like um, a partner, a partner in crime, a girl that motivates you, loves you, and like just, yeah, someone who loves you, you know, someone who cares about you. Exactly. Someone who always thinks about you. Yep. Didn't say that anybody. Someone that just cares about you and doesn't hurt you. <laughs> All right, go, go, go. Third one. Um, biggest lie you ever told. Easy. Easy. Yeah. I told Nick he had a chance in Rocket League. You already know he don't. Wow. You already know he don't. Really? Okay, well, unlike him, I'm going to be serious. Really, so really. the biggest lie I told was I was just joking with someone, and I told them that I didn't have swag. <laughs> and to this day, I regret lying like that. I lied to them it's and I lied to myself. So it is. It's a big lie. It was. Last pick on your phone. So for this question, we're gonna just upload the picture during editing, so we don't have to show you guys our phones. So don't worry, you'll see. We'll see what he has on his phone. I want to see what he has on. His phone. your business. <laughs> <laughs> Next question. Would you rather be ugly and live for a hundred years, or attractive and die in fifty? Um, ugly and live for a hundred. Now, can you explain why you chose that? Oh, because I want to see my my kids' grand grandchildren grow. You know, just see life. <laughs> like, see see what happens. You know, that's like as you're old, you just get to kick back, relax. You know, just. Wait, <laughs> you know? <laughs> I didn't even think of that. The only thing I was thinking of, I didn't want to live till I was 115. I'd rather die at 65 and, like, be attractive and have everything good for me. That's what I was thinking. <laughs> That's what I was thinking. <laughs> <laughs> so next question. When is your B-Day? I hate telling people my b I hardly ever tell anyone my birthday. My B-Day. But uh, I'll answer it since I'm loyal to my fans. My subscribers. Uh, my birthday is April 10th. When's your birthday? March 23rd. For a second, I thought I messed up my birthday. I had to think about it. I thought I had to think about it twice. So next one. Uh, what did you do for your last birthday? I forgot. I can't even remember what I did for my last birthday. But I do remember one sick birthday I had at Dave & Buster's with all my friends. Right? Yeah. So I enjoyed that. What'd you do? For, I don't. Do you remember what you did for your last birthday? No. <laughs> no I don't. No idea. How about your coolest birthday party? Oh, birthday? oh I'm paintballing. No, oh, really? Yeah, when I was nine. Was That's pretty, pretty cool. Ass. Yeah, it was cool. Um, if you could switch lives with anyone, who would it be? You go first, go first. I wouldn't switch lives permanently, but I would want to see how some other people would live. I can't even. I would. Maybe an athlete. I wouldn't want to switch lives with anyone else. Because I would want to see how athletes live and what they have to do on a daily basis. But uh, anyone other than that, I, I, why would I want to be them? I'd rather be me. How about you? Oh, damn. <laughs> Chill, fam. <laughs> I want to be Michael Myers. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Why would you be him? Kill people. Kill people? <laughs> damn. Yeah. Now, I think you had that answer for what, who would you be for four days. Oh, my bad. Yeah. This is two questions? Yeah, it's two different questions. Same damn thing. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, what were some fun things you did in middle school? Fun slash dumb things you did in middle school. Okay, so we decided not to answer this, this question and to make a whole different video because we have so many memories yeah. about funny things we did in middle school that we just couldn't fit it all in one that had different questions in it. So we'll make another one and you'll hear all about that later so what do guys like about girls and I think we already answered that we like them to be 
uh, I won't talk for you, but for me, I like them to be nice, loyal, caring. That's about it, and pretty. <laughs> <laughs> How about you? Same thing. Yeah. Same thing. Yeah. Where'd you live if you could live anywhere in the world? Yeah. Now you had a while to think about that. I know, so. but it's a hard question still. Go, you go first. Okay, so I, whenever anyone asked me that, I always straight went straight to Italy because I always thought that was such a beautiful place to live and just so peaceful. But for some reason, this question or this time I was thinking about it, I was thinking Disneyland for some reason because it's the happiest place on earth and like. Let's say, I think there is even a secret place to live where Walt Disney used to just go and chill sometimes. So I was thinking, like, how if I woke up before Disneyland started just to wake myself up, like, on slash, <clears throat> oh, I had that. I had that for a while. <laughs> how if I just, like, wanted to wake up and go to Splash Mountain? So I just thought, like, that would be pretty cool and get, like, some cotton candy whenever I wanted. And, um, I thought that was cool. So you had a lot of time to think about this one. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, so if you think of anything, just tell me. I'll work at Disneyland. <laughs> I don't know, sorry. Right. No, I'm just going to go for it. I'll, uh, yeah, in the middle, I'll just pop it up. Yeah. I think about it. Um, if you had to do one thing before you died, what would it be? Mm, so one thing before I died was um, say goodbye to all the fan members. And everybody that I'm cool with, everybody that have contributed to my life in a way, whether just made me happy, you know, I don't know, just helped me and in any way, you know, or were in my life in any way, I would want to just Important. say goodbye. Yeah. That's, yeah, exactly. It's, I would get all my close friends and all my close family members and do whatever was easy to do, even if it was just hanging out, watching some TV. I would just want to be with all of them before I had to go. So I didn't want to get too deep on that. Um, how tall are you? I'm tall enough. <laughs> I just thought of that right now. I didn't want to answer how tall I was. But if you do, you can. Five seven. Um, who is the most important person in your life? I'll let you answer that first. Mama Bear. I have four people. I have... Well, not, I guess not four. I guess all I should say is that you know if you're the most important people in my life. That's all I got to say. You already know. Simple. Um, how did your first heartbreak happen? Do you want to answer this first? Because I already have an answer waiting. So the, 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 it's not how it happened. How, did, how does a heartbreak happen? It just, someone ends up fucking up. Bottom line. So it's like, it's not how, it's like, it's not someone fucked up and that someone wasn't me. Right? That's how breakups happen, right? Yeah, someone yeah. fucks up. Someone ends up being a bitch. Do you want to um, answer that? Not really. Well, how, how did your first break? What? Yeah. How do? Happen? Well, how do any breakups happen? Shit goes sideways. Exactly. I'm being honest. But the truck tips over. Uh huh. Being honest. Where do you? I'm see being yourself? reality. <laughs> <laughs> where do you see yourself in five years? Um. I don't know where I see myself in two minutes from now. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> I was playing. I don't know. In um, five years. Go ahead. You answer that. Answer I mean, it seriously. I'm balling, bro, bro. Yeah, answer it seriously. Where do you really see yourself in five years? I see myself opening my own gym. That's why. <laughs> Our ambitions are so high. It's like, that's what I love. So opening my, my own gym, I, starting my own clothing, my own fitness clothing brand, and uh, that's it. Making a name in the fitness industry. That's cool. See, that's gold. So I, in five years, I want to be a professional baseball player. Oh, that's fly. And that's what I want to do. So. I'd see in five years. We'll make another video about this. Um, so, <laughs> yeah. All right. So I'll keep going while he's <laughs> swimming. Hey, come out like right now, like soon. I'm 
<laughs> so the next question is, how many fish have you had? I've oh. had, I've had uh, <laughs> a lot. Yeah, I've had a lot. Not enough. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I've had. I, I couldn't tell you how many fish I've had. I've had too many. Not too many, cause I love all of them. But um, I've had a lot of fish. I have a lot of fish tanks, as you, as you guys seen in other videos. And next question is, which one is the most vicious, as in fish, I've had? And honestly, the most, I've had a lot of vicious fish Good I've boy. had, huh? Good boy. <laughs> <laughs> I've had electric catfish, I've had Oscars, um, I had a vampire fish, which was pretty cool. But I think, honestly, the most vicious fish I've had was the wolf fish. That guy's just a monster. He destroys everything that you put in that tank. Yes, the most vicious bitch he had yet. Yet. Perfect. <laughs> so, now these are questions specifically for me. If oh, you couldn't tell, he, that's why he jumped in the pool. That's right. What inspired you to start your channel? Um, huh? And go. Oh. What inspired me was, honestly, just doing something. Because one day I was just, I wasn't doing anything. And I felt like I should have been doing something more than just sitting around and doing nothing. So I decided, you know, I love talking and I have a lot of things to talk about and a lot of things to share, I guess. So I thought I would share it, with, share it and this would be the easiest way to share things. And I don't mean just experiences, I mean my skills as in magic and other things like that. And I thought that would be the quickest way to share. Um, when you when you making your hair pink again uh you guys didn't see my hair pink it was right before i started this youtube channel but i had my hair pink and i'll try to edit a picture in but i don't know if i want to because i don't know if it look good but tell me if you guys thought think it looks good i'll i'll put a, put a crap I have to burp i'll put a picture in tell me what you guys think about it why do I have to burp so much? Um, Reality. <laughs> <that's why. laughs> who, what, and how? <laughs> Sorry, go, go. Who, what, and how did you get into magic? Um, I've never really told anyone, and I always wanted to take my own credit for starting magic. But to be honest with you guys, what started me in magic was the movie Now You See Me. I saw it, and I saw how it. It shocked everyone and amazed everyone that watched the movie and the audience that they were doing. I know they were actors, but the tricks that they did just amazed me. So I wanted to reflect that and amaze other people as well. So I thought I would get in magic and one thing led to another. And now here I'm at. Now here I am. Um... And why did you make a channel? So I already answered that. It's because I felt like I needed to share things. I felt like I could share more things with more people with this channel. Are you really swimming? Are you really swimming? We're making a video? <laughs> okay. Um, so yeah, that was the last question. So, and I think that was really great questions you guys asked me. And I really appreciate you guys asking me these questions. So thank you for asking me questions and thank you for subscribing. Um, I really appreciate the support you guys give me. And you don't see Angel, but he's nodding. He, he appreciates it as well. And I just want to say thanks to everyone that watched me, gives me positive support. Just want to say thank you to you guys. And for the people that asked me the question, Ashley, Alina, Celine, Lindsay, Anthony Dina, or Dima, Anthony Luna, Michelle, Arpy, Stephanie, Maddie, Brendan and Neville and Yvette thank you guys for giving me these questions and thank you for supporting and helping me make videos and not only to them but to all my subscribers I really appreciate you guys and um, I think thank you That's bottom line is thank you you wanna come here and say bye real quick so thank you guys really appreciate that and um, hope you guys enjoy these videos because I really enjoy making them so uh, I'll give Angel a second just to get over here. So, thank you. Angel, you want to say bye? Yeah, I'll just let you guys know there's a lot of great things coming to this channel. And just look forward to what's going to happen to this channel. It's going to blow up. Thank you. Thank you. I didn't know you were going to say that, but thank you.
appreciate appreciate everything. I appreciate all the love. So uh, real quick, Angel, you want to hold it for me? Thanks, nice, fam. Oh, <laughs> sorry, sorry. <laughs> Just go. <laughs> um, um, should I end it? <laughs> should I end it? No, not yet. Hold up. Okay, okay. <laughs> so thank you guys. Appreciate it. And uh, remember, stay positive. Have a great day. Catch you guys next time. Hey guys, so I forgot two of the questions. And the first one is, do I believe in magic? Well, I'm a magician, so yeah, I believe in magic. Come on. And the second one is, do I believe in luck? And to be honest with you guys, I don't believe in luck. I believe in blessings. So if something good happens to you, you are blessed with a good opportunity. That's what I think about that. So right now, I'm going to show you guys clips of how we originally wanted to end this video. But we came up with a new idea, and we thought it was better. So that's where we're at. So I'm going to show you how the alternative ending, or how the original ending of this video was supposed to be. Hope you guys enjoyed that. And have a great day. Here's the alternative ending. Recording. You rock? It's recording, yeah. Now. Ready?